What is the best antivirus program to use in 2025? This question can be a little bit confusing and con complicated because there are so many choices. But for me, I don't use antivirus. Technically, I do use antivirus, but I don't have to download it and install it. It comes pre-installed to the Windows. Yes, I'm talking about the Windows Defender. Let me tell you a story. Back in 20. 11 or 12 i got my first windows computer it was windows 7 laptop actually and that windows laptop used to give me this notification saying uh windows doesn't have any antivirus program you should find one because back in the day windows didn't actually had any antiviruses built in and we had to use third-party antiviruses i think the first antivirus that i ever used was avast to this date many people actually recommend Avast for free antivirus. But later when Windows 10 came out, this message from the Windows was completely gone because we actually had a working antivirus built into the Windows called Windows Security or Windows Defender. The old name of this thing is Windows Defender. Now it is called Windows Security. You actually don't need third-party antiviruses anymore. As long as if you know how to surf the internet properly it doesn't matter which antivirus you have if you are really bad at surfing the internet you're gonna get infected no matter what all the antiviruses have database about the viruses when they detect those then they can block it but if the virus is not on the antiviruses database they can't detect that virus as a virus so basically if you ask me what is the best antivirus i would say there isn't but that doesn't mean you don't need a antivirus you always need a antivirus on your system sometimes you know even the good software or program that you're downloading may have been compromised or something so in that case you know antivirus will detect and all that you know that okay so there is this thing called av test uh, org this is a organization who does the antivirus testing and here you'll see all the recommended antiviruses with the score uh, it looks like the maximum score is six okay avast is i don't know for some reason always at the top because i guess they provide the best security for free in free plan and uh, you can go and check by yourself okay and you can see microsoft windows defender slash windows security is also listed here so you can see it also has the perfect score of 666 and it's the top certified product so basically if you're like i don't know which antivirus to choose you can go to this website and look into these recommendation like these are the top antiviruses and you can go like hmm let's see yeah windows defender is there that means yeah, I don't need to get the another antivirus. That's it. Boom. Kaboom. <laughs> Again, as said, there are so many antiviruses that you can choose from, but it doesn't matter which one you use. There is always going to be some person saying that, no, this antivirus is better. Like, for example, one will say Komodo is the best you should try. One will say the malware bytes is better. One will say Avast is better. You know, you'll find all types of people. The main reason why I'm just using the Windows Defender, not using the third party program, is that it's lighter on the system compared to the third party programs. And it actually does pretty well. Maybe for some specific need, you might want to go for the some other antiviruses like uh, Windows Defender doesn't actually include all the features that other antiviruses provide let's say for example vpn windows defender doesn't have scanning email windows defender doesn't have actually let me show you guys something else if you think windows defender sucks it's not that great you can use this software called defender ui this is a third-party software which actually makes windows defender even more powerful okay so these are the default settings of Windows Defender. I have set it to default profile. This thing uses something called profile. So I'm using the default profile, but here you can change the different profile, like interactive profile, aggressive profile, make Windows Defender even more stronger and all that, or custom profile, or you can go and enable the individual settings here. 
uh, within the Defender UI that Windows Defender doesn't offer. All the things you see here are actually already available in uh, Windows Defender. But if you go and look at the other settings, you can enable some hidden uh, Defender settings like controlled folder access, which is actually already available in Windows Defender, uh, which I have turned off. Network protection, PUA protection. Let's go into the advanced actually here. Windows Defender doesn't scan emails by default, I think. I, we don't have that option uh, in Windows Defender, but with this, we can have that option and it will scan for emails. It can also scan external drives scan map networks you can set up the rules to be honest i don't really need this program and i don't need all the windows defenders uh, features enabled like for example there is this thing called memory integrity which makes windows defender even stronger that thing is actually disabled and also controlled folder access is also disabled I can enable that it won't affect the system performance that much but for isolation yeah this thing memory integrity is disabled uh, because it uses a little bit more resources and I don't want that to happen and I know that even if I have this thing d disabled I'll be safe because I won't be downloading shady stuff from the internet and all that but the point is windows defender can actually be really powerful as powerful as the other antiviruses and it's built into the system that means it's going to work better than the third party antiviruses plus it will consume less resources the only reason why i use windows defender ui it's not like it's a bad program it's actually good again as i said if you want to make the windows defender more powerful like you don't have to go through each uh, settings manually you can just select the profile to aggressive it will basically make the windows defender as good as it can get basically okay but the reason why i'm using it by default you can't actually clear the windows defenders uh, protection history so basically this is where it stores all the history of protection history basically it says in the name here okay sometime i would like to clear that so with this i can easily clear that your computer will restart twice how this actually works is that it boots the windows to the safe mode and then clears the protection history and then it normally boots the pc and one more thing now these days even the web browsers are also getting better at detecting the bad websites and also the bad files from the internet that you download it can actually detect if you're downloading some virus or malware at least the chrome and uh, also edge browser are actually really good at detecting those type of files and website so if you're using one of these uh, browsers you'll be good to go actually if you're paranoid about your security i highly recommend like uh, using the aggressive profile using Defender UI. This will just basically, you know, buff the Windows Defender. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're a chill person about your security and you know how to surf the internet properly, uh, you don't have to go that far because if you also care about the system resources and all that there are some things that actually uses more resources if you enable like the memory integrity and all that so yeah if you download the third party programs they're gonna do the same they might use even double or triple amount of resources on your system compared to windows defender which i have not tested again as soon as windows 10 came out with the windows defender i just stopped using the third party antiviruses but again as i said if you want some specific feature from antivirus that windows defender doesn't offer then yeah in that case you should go for the third party antiviruses plus if you're paranoid about your uh, you know security yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some discussion in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye-bye.